It's a gray spring day in Boston, but soon the sun will be out and Boston Harbor will be bursting at the seams. You have a lot of your day trippers out there. They're all very competent mariners, but everyone runs into a problem at some point. If there are more boats out on the water, there's more of a chance that something could go wrong. That's so where Lieutenant Commander water, Kyle Coleman and the U.S. Coast Guard come in. Coleman is the command center chief at Sector Boston, which handles coastal safety, security, and environmental protection from the New Hampshire-Massachusetts border down to Manomet Point in Plymouth. Whether it's uh, law enforcement or ports and waterway coastal security, whether it's pollution response or search and rescue, that information will funnel through our command center. We'll make sure that the appropriate duty teams and personnel know can respond accordingly. The more daring rescue missions often make the headlines, but there is a team of specially trained Coast Guardsmen that works behind the scenes in the command center. Typically, a security clearance is required to access the command center, but today Sector Boston is giving Chronicle a look behind the secure doors. There are operations that are sensitive in nature. We have obviously desensitized everything that might be uh, of classified nature, um, but this is not something that is open to the public. Captain Kaylee Benson is commander of Sector Boston. This 30-year Coast Guard veteran knows all the ins and outs of her sector and holds the command center in high regard. We can't do what we do without them. They're the glue, really, that hold uh, our response actions together. There are four positions on the watch floor. Command duty officer. Who is overall responsible to the captain of the port. Operations unit. There really kind of boils down to the, uh, the planning of search and rescue and tasking of any operational units that are able to respond. Situations unit. Keeps uh, good vision on vessels that are arriving. And communications unit. They are the ears and the voice of the sector. They're listening for the faintest call on a radio for someone calling for help. They can launch small boats, they can launch Coast Guard cutters, they can launch shoreside people. They can request aircraft support from our local air station at Cape Cod. Command center crew must be prepared for any situation throughout their 24-hour shift. Coleman tells us that search and rescue cases are most common. We had 324 search and rescue cases for the calendar year of 22, and that ranges from vessels taking on water uh, to something that may be on fire to uh, an unmanned adrift paddlecraft. The number of unmanned canoes, kayaks, and paddleboards found floating in local waters increases every year. Each time one is found, the Coast Guard launches a search for a missing person, and that's the situation today. At 12.06 local time today, we received a report of an unmanned adrift paddlecraft uh, right off of Base Boston, actually. At this point, we issued an urgent marine information broadcast. The broadcast alerts the public that there may be something in the area, whether it's more paddle crafts or a person in the water. From here, our search and rescue planners developed a track line search for our response boat small to go along the western edge of the harbor up towards Chelsea Creek and then back down out past the airport and through the seaport district back in towards Boston. At this point, they're doing a visual search to find any si signs of distress. The team says each search costs about $25,000 per hour. While the Coast Guard wants to ensure that no person is in peril, they say there is a simple way to limit the number of required searches, a name and phone number on the vessel. Captain, at uh, 12.06 local time, Mr. Atwood reported a unmanned drift paddleboard in the vicinity of Base Boston. Based on the situation, no signs of distress, and we recommend suspension. This case proved simple for the Sector Boston Command Center, but not every case has a happy ending. We're actively trying to maintain our edge and uh, be as ready to respond at a given moment as possible. The camaraderie that we have in the Command Center is, is phenomenal. We're trying to put the asset in the right place to, to find something, and uh, when we're able to do that, that is an amazing feeling. And the Coast Guard can provide stickers to put on your paddleboard, mm -hmm. kayak, or canoe. Right, and the idea is put it on there, write your name and telephone number in a waterproof pen, maybe put some clear plastic tape over it. And that way, if something does get away from you, drift away from you, the Coast Guard can call you to make sure you're okay as opposed to launching a very expensive search. It's very smart. All right, up next, stopping to smell the roses.